Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've been here on my channel, so here I am with another video. I'm going to do a first impression on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've heard really good things about it, so let's get started. So for starters, I'm going to prime my face using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It's the normal golden one. I'm going to take a pump of it on the back of my hand and dot it all over my face. And I'm going to press it into my skin. Next, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. And using the spatula that comes with the foundation, I'm going to apply it all over my face. And then blend it in with the Beauty Blender. This foundation is amazing. It blends really nicely, um, effortlessly. It has a really good coverage as well. So I was really impressed with this foundation. I went on with the second layer too, you will be able to see it. The primer worked on really well with this foundation as well. Usually I'm not a huge fan of the drugstore foundation because they leave my skin really desiccated and dry. But this foundation is too good to be doing that. Um, it's really worth it. This is how the second layer looks. It is very luminous. I really like it. Now I'll be moving on to my eyes. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer and blend it on my eyelid with the fingers. It works really well uh, if I blend it with the fingers instead of a brush. So blending it. And for the eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and then uh, going in with my Sigma flat shader brush, I'm going to take the shade Peaches and Cream eyeshadow primer that I just put on. And then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild blender brush and I'm going to take the shade Puree and focus it on my outer crease and just blending it in. I'm going to do the same thing on the different eye too, just doing it really fast so that it saves some time. I am trying to focus the shade on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going to take MAC Coral on the Inspur 282 Light Fluff brush and I'm going to blend the crease shade. This is a really nice fluffy brush. I like it. It's been such a long time since I have done this, I've totally forgotten how I've been doing it. The voiceover and the editing of the videos. So I'm just trying to take some time out so that I can focus on my YouTube channel again because my life has been really crazy lately and it's so cold in here. Next I'm going to take the shade Just Peachy and put it as all over the lid color. This is a very pretty color. Focusing it on the lower part of the lid. Taking the same uh, fluffy blending brush and ending the crease with the 
eyeshadow that I just popped on. Now taking the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil in the shade Ampoo, which is a bright violet color, I'm going to draw a line on the top of my eyelids, just as an eyeliner to make it even more bright. Not doing a wing or anything, just lining the outer corner of my eyes and the top of the lids. Yep. Tilt your face. Done. Now I'm taking the shade Caramelized and taking it on a flat shader brush and focusing it on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Dragging it in the middle as well. So the eyes are done now. Moving on to concealer, I had two shades of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer but I went in with the shade Tawny because I felt like that shade matched me really well. I'm going to highlight the face with this concealer, putting it under my eyes and all the high points of my face. I'm doing it one at a time because this concealer dries a little quicker so I will apply the concealer as I move on. It's really easy to blend and it, it highlighted my face really well. I will do with this concealer. Really good for our drugstore. Blends like nothing and blends into nothing. Cool. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder and setting my under eye concealer and all the places that I highlighted with it. Um, technically my entire face. I really like how luminous this foundation is. Um, I have a combination skin type, but it really works wonder for me. It is really good. To contour, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and take the first shape over here. And I'm going to take my stippling brush from BH Cosmetics and just bronze my face with it. Do some color. Doing it on the other cheek too. And my temples. I'm also going to bronze my jaw with that too, just to give a little more dimension to my face. Perfect. Now I'm going to take this shade over here, which is the darker shade on the top. contour with this. Just sl slightly putting it on the outer edges of the bronzed part of my face.
Moving on to the blush, I'm going to take the Too Faced Love Blush blush in the shade Love Hangover and putting it on apples of my cheek. I love this blush because it just makes you look so alive. <laughs> it makes your skin have some life into it. Such a beautiful color. And I'm using the e.l.f. paintbrush to put it on. Like my face, I'm going to take the Beauty for Real Blush Plus Glow Highlighting and Blush Stick. I'm going to use the shade High Beam to highlight my face. Putting it on all of the high points of my face and chin. Cupid's bow. And then blending it out with the beauty blender. Now still. I already had my brows done, so I'm going to take this Ulta Beauty Brow Mascara to set my brows. I just use the Benefit Pro Brow to fill in my brows. <laughs> and then I'm going to line my waterline with the same Lancome Drama Lippy Pencil in the shade Ampu. Curling my eyelashes and going in with the Tarte Tarteist Lash Paint Mascara. I think I did like two coats of the mascara on each of my eyes. For the lips, I went on with the Colourpop Cosmetics um, Matte Lippy Pencil in the shade Heart On. And this is the finished look. I really enjoyed wearing this foundation. I wore it for almost 6 to 8 hours and it was looking so good on the skin. Um, it made my skin look flawless. It didn't break me out after I washed my face, so that's a good point. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I hope I will be able to post more videos more often. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!